This is Mission Control Houston. Thursday was a light duty day for half of the International Space Station's Expedition 34 crew members to make sure that they are rested and ready to work this weekend with a new shipment of supplies arriving on board a commercial cargo ship. Station Commander Kevin Ford and Flight Engineers Chris Hadfield and Tom Marshburn had their regular exercise sessions today, but little else on their schedules in advance of the targeted Saturday arrival of the Dragon cargo ship. The second operational flight of the vehicle from SpaceX remains on target to launch from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station on Friday morning at 9.10 Houston time. You'll be carrying 1,200 pounds of science experiment materials and crew supplies. Plans call for it to arrive at the station on Saturday morning when it will be grappled by the crew who will be at the command of uh, Canadarm2. And then they will berth that cargo ship to the Harmony module to its port that faces down toward Earth. The schedule calls for the hatch to that new cargo ship to be opened on Sunday for the crew members to start unloading. Chris Hadfield did have some work today uh, before his uh, interview event with the Canadian television network CTV's Canada AM program in Toronto. Hadfield completed pre-packing of items that are going to return to Earth on Dragon. The plans call for 2,300 pounds of equipment and experiment samples to be brought back to Earth March 25th when the Dragon's uh, spacecraft splashes down in the Pacific Ocean. Today, Tom Marshburn set up a high-definition television camera in the Destiny Laboratory so that it can send images of the robotic workstation monitors to the mission control centers so that the ground can see what the arm operators will be seeing while they're at work. Uh, the arm operators, uh, Ford and Hadfield and Marshburn, will actually be working from the robotics workstation in the cupola module. The camera that uh, Marshburn is setting up today will be shooting the monitors on the backup robotic workstation, which is located in the Destiny Laboratory. Marshburn and uh, Ford each also took time on Thursday to use the station's amateur radio to talk with the uh, school students on the ground. Uh, for Ford, so the students were in uh, Avon, Connecticut. Uh, for Marshburn, the students are on the ground in a suburb of Athens, Greece. Thursday, a regular workday for the Russian segment crew members. Flight engineers Oleg Novitsky and Yevgeny Tarelkin spent half their day laying cables in the Russian segment to support a plasma wave experiment that is going to measure the electromagnetic field around the outside of the space station. The exterior hardware uh, for that is going to be installed during a spacewalk that is planned for April and will be conducted by flight engineer Roman Romanenko and Pavel Vinogradov. Uh, Vinogradov is due to arrive at the station in late March, along with uh, flight engineers Alexander Mazurkin and NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy. Roman Romanenko occupied most of his morning on Thursday taking surface samples in the Russian segment and then science experiment operations in the afternoon. Novitsky was busy stowing items destined for disposal into one of the progress ships that's docked to the Russian segment, and Terelkin did maintenance work and shot scenes for a Russian television documentary about the station's payload operations. On Friday, the three U.S. segment crew members have some final training for their robotics operation for the grapple and berthing of the Dragon spacecraft, and then they will be off duty for most of the day on Friday with the intent that they will be well rested and primed for action on Saturday to greet the Dragon cargo ship that is bringing more than half a ton of materials to support the ongoing mission of the International Space Station.